Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great male stone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Shabrella Chapatazah from the great millstone Chicago branch. Coming at you with another real quick lesson. Hey, this nigga Kanye is out his goddamn mind, man. He, he's through. The man has lost it, all right? He changed his name, and his name is now officially Ye. <laughs> all right, look at this haircut, bro. Look at this damn haircut, bro. Look at this nigga, man. What? <laughs> What is going on? Oh, man. Hold on. Y'all got to get a close-up of this shit. Not, not the internet want to tweet. Look, man. <laughs> you knew the spirit was finna get on your ass for this haircut, man. Look, this dude's 44 years old walking around. <laughs> Look, <he's> like, <laughs> Look at this nigga, man. Demons just dancing on this nigga, bruh. Like, demons just dancing on this nigga, man. They having a field day with this dude, man. Look at this nigga, man. <laughs> See what... Hey, look. This is what happens, man. This is what happens. When you sell yourself to Esau, this is what... This the type of shit Esau is going to make you do, man. Okay? When you fully buy into Esau's demonic system, his demonic, devilish, sensual entertainment industry, all right? When he put them demons on you, the, the, the unseemly shit you have to do to become somebody in Esau's entertainment industry, man, the demons that you're left with, they make you do wild, bugged out shit like this, man. All right, look at this damn haircut. <laughs> look at this nigga, man, at McDonald's. How you eating McDonald's in Sweden with a mask on and a fucked up haircut, man? Demons dancing on him, man. All right? This, man, this dude's through, man. Okay? But th this is what happens. You know, he went from being the conscious backpack rapper that, you know, rapped about real issues and, and, you know, real shit, made good, soulful beats, to now he's completely bugged out of his goddamn mind, okay? This is what happens, man. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9. But they that but they will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. That word perdition is utter ruin. Okay? It's going to lead you to utter ruin. All right? See, the, the elites, they own, they own this nigga Kanye, man. All right? He, he's a puppet. Okay? And his, 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 his inner conscience is fucking with him. Okay? Those demons are, are really taking over. And really, he has no hope. You know, that's why the scripture says, Sirach, uh, blessed is the man whose conscience has not condemned him. All right. See, Kanye, he had to do a lot of unseemly vile shit to get to where he is. And now his conscience is condemned. You know, his hope in the Lord is 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 kaput. You know, he, he has no hope for the Lord's mercies anymore because he, he he knows what he did and what he is doing. So the demons is really starting to take over. He's starting to really lose his damn mind. All right? You a damn billionaire eating McDonald's, man. That, that by itself. I mean, okay, yeah, granted, it's in Sweden, you know. You may not be eating. Uh, 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 as the food may not be as terrible, but I don't give a goddamn. You, you got a billion dollars, man. You eating at McDonald's. You got heavy demons on you, man. <laughs> In a fat-ass leather jacket. All right? <clears throat> that jacket fat as hell. Salaki. Hold on, let me go to that scripture. This is the book of Proverbs. 
I believe that's 30. This is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies and give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. See, so so you want to be balanced. You want to be level in this thing. You don't want to have too much, but you definitely don't want to have too little. The Lord is going to keep you right where you need to be. It says, verse nine, lest I be fool and deny thee and say, who is your hour? OK, and that's what happens. You know, these these people. Because Kanye knows about the Israelites. He knows about the 12 tribes of Israel. He knows about these things. He's tweeted about these things. Okay. He knows he's an Israelite. Okay. But what happened? He got full. He got full of the fame, the, 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 the riches, the influence, you know, what he perceived to be the power that he had. You know, he made the song, uh, no one man should have all that power. You see? And in that same song, he even said, you know, we the chosen ones. So this nigga, he knows what we're saying. He, he's heard this gospel before, man, but he's too far gone on the left hand side, man. All right. He's too far gone in, in the darkness. His hope in the Lord is depleted now, man. OK. And he denied the Lord. It says, or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain, man. So, you know. Definitely is not the case with this guy, and it's definitely not going to be the case with any of the Lord's servants. OK, the Lord is going to keep us stable right where we need to be, because as long as we have the mindset of, of the godly mindset of uh, food and raiment, therewith be content. We're going to be straight. You know, anything extra that comes from that. Hey, it's called. You know, we understand that this place is not our rest. OK, we understand that this 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 earth is defiled, especially here in Babylon. OK, it's full of corruption and uncleanness and wickedness is, is great over here, man. So, you, you know, you don't want you don't really want too much over here. OK, you don't want too much gold, too much money. It, it, it ruins people. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse five. He that loveth gold shall not be justified. And he that followeth corruption shall have enough thereof. You see that? So he, he, he has more than enough corruption. Okay. All right. What that nigga Jay-Z say, which is Jay-Z is his, his right hand, his mentor. All right. Jay-Z said an appetite for destruction, but I scraped the plate. You know, basically, hey, man, you're going to eat that shit up. An appetite for destruction, but you scraped the plate. All right. So, hey, man, you want the corruption? You want the money? The shit that comes with being corrupt? Hey, you're going to have enough of it. And so it says, verse six, gold have been the ruin of many and their destruction was present. You see, Kanye's destruction is is happening right before our eyes. This dude's literally losing his goddamn mind. All right. He's soft as hell. So, you know. You know, the whole thing with, 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 with that, that thought, Kim, leaving them or whatever, them getting divorced, that's fucking with him. You know, every time a thought leaves him, you know, he goes into, you know, depression mode, you know, because this dude, he's, he's a clown, man. All right. And he's through. It says it is verse seven. It is a stumbling block to them that sacrifice to it. And every fool shall be taken there with man. All right. So at the end of the day. If you ain't got the covering of your how about Shimmy Shai, you're a fool, man, and you're gonna be taken in destruction. Okay? Perdition awaits you. But before that happens, you're gonna be made a laughing stock, a shame, a reproach, and an embarrassment to the rest of the world, especially the uh, the Israelites. Okay? And when you awaken the kingdom, man, your reproach is gonna follow you. Okay? For you two thirds. The scripture says some shall awake to everlasting life and others shall awake to everlasting shame and contempt. OK. This is what you do to that. To, to, this is what you did to appease your handlers and to maintain your status. OK. This is the shit Esau is going to go make you do, man. All right. This man's 44 goddamn years old doing this goofy shit, man. All right. But uh. 
yeah, that's it on that. I just wanted to touch on that, man. This guy's out of here, man. But that damn haircut, <laughs> boy, god damn. Hey, so with that, I hope this is edifying. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakurash, Shalom, and the Baba Ball.